board to reach out to <laughs> <laughs> to ask for an introduction and he said I'll, I'll get it to you one day <laughs> and he didn't so he procrastinated <laughs> so long <laughs> on getting his introduction to me that now I don't have an introduction for him. so <laughs> thank you Nina that was a perfect introduction and in fact, I have some notes here today because I, I didn't prepare the speech as much as I thought I might because I was procrastinating. So my name is Bradley Schrovener and tonight I am going to help you put the pro in procrastination. <laughs> we are flipping this thing on its side and we are going to turn this into a positive thing. Now, you know, there's entire shoe companies that have slogans like, just do it. There's entire business processes like, get it done. It's all a sham. It's all just a waste of time. And in speaking of waste of time, that's our goal. That's what we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna be telling you in three easy to remember steps, how you can put the pro in procrastinating. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, cash. Y'all gonna like that one. Couch, that's even more fun. And clean, that's where it really gets good. All right, so three steps to put the pro in procrastination. You guys ready? Of course you're not ready. If you're ready, you're be ready. We're not gonna finish this thing. We got time, it's gonna relax. We're gonna get through it, okay? Here we go, cash. Now the first thing about cash, it's a bit of a negative cash flow thing because because you're gonna procrastinate about everything and not actually start or finish anything, that's gonna save you some money. You're not gonna be going to the movies. You might not be getting a job because you can't figure out which job you're gonna do and you're gonna be sitting there thinking about it all day. So you're gonna be saving money on things you don't buy, activities you don't attend. So there we go, we got some savings right there. <laughs> now, there's a, in preparing for this piece, now I did do some preparation, I just thought about it quite a bit. And <laughs> I'll get to that at number three. It's very important, number three. Don't forget, take notes, number three, very important. Number two, to-do lists. Now, if you guys are sort of the entrepreneurial mindset, you know, thinking of like ways to make money, a little extra cash, a little side job, a little side hustle, why are they called to-do lists? They're not called done lists. They're not called finished lists. It's not the list of things I did. No, they're never gonna end. Little pro investor tip right here, to-do lists. They'll never go away. People will keep buying them because they're never actually gonna finish them. Do you wanna get an app started? Do a to go look on your phone how many to-do list apps are out there. Well, finishes the two They're endless. Right there, business opportunity number one. Cash money, right here. You know, I'm already putting the pro in procrastinating right here. We're only on step one. It's only gonna get better. Here we go, step number two. Couch. Now, I just I was just in Denmark, and they talk about I don't speak Danish, clearly. H-Y-G-G-E. For us Dutch, that would be like gezellig. So it's a movement and it's very gezellig, but it's all about, it's basically about the couch. Now I figured this out through my brilliant scientific research that hija and gezellig, it's really all about the couch because all you're doing is sitting around not doing the thing you're not going to get done. <laughs> so, again, for you, you income generating folks out there, the entrepreneurial mindset in here, think of the couch, think of the photo shoot, think of product placement. Do you see the movies, you know, when they got the movies and they're like, hi, I'm just in a movie, I'm not advertising anything, am I? Oh, look, Toastmasters International. <laughs> I just happened to see that sign for Toastmasters International. <laughs> Dot com. So, <laughs> Think about that the next time you're looking to make money and sitting on your couch doing nothing. Photo shoot opportunity, product placement right there. And another pro tip, you guys taking notes? Pro tip, 
for the future, Chazela, there's a book called Chazela, there's a book called Iche, 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 the next book, it's just gonna be called Couch. It's gonna be a massive, huge, huge craze. And you guys are the first to know. I didn't realize this when I started this because I never finished my preparation. <laughs> it's a little meta joke there, right? <laughs> that I didn't know this would be quite the money, money making opportunity. And you didn't either. When you woke up this morning, you thought, I'm gonna be learn how to make loads of money. We got our financial advisor right here. He's taking notes. I can see him right there. He's, got one, two. He's waiting for number three. Number three is key. Number three, now it's a little bit less about the money, but we can improve your relationship. We can improve your love life through procrastination. And you say, Bradley, tell me how. I'm going to tell you how right now. Clean. Number three is clean. Now remember, tax season, right? Don't want to do your taxes. Test time, bad. Right, so what do you do? You clean. You do dishes, you vacuum. I mean, this is why my nails are gorgeous. <laughs> Especially in April, tax time in the US. I, I don't even know to need to go to the manicure. I'm just, I'm just doing dishes all day. Now, another pro tip for you investors, vacuuming, vacuuming. You know, there's, there's retreats in Bali for like yoga, meditation. Forget it, it's all a waste of time. There's gonna be in the future, Vacuuming retreats in Bali. <laughs> I've got one coming up next next fall. You guys can sign up at vacuums.nl. Just sign up. It's nine hundred and ninety-seven dollars for the week. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of vacuuming and cleaning. <laughs> it's going to be good. Yes. Yeah, so, but it's okay because you have so much money. Remember step one and two: to-do list apps. Number two: product placement couches. You're rolling in cash. So you're ready to get clean and procrastinate on the next thing that you're not actually gonna ever do. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. So you now have three steps to put the pro in procrastinator. Now, you are ready to get out there and just don't do it. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I had to say that, that was good, I liked it, just don't do it. Let me write that down in my notes here because I didn't actually finish my presentation. Just don't do it. There we go. Now look, I've got the red card here, so I've got to wrap this up. You think I should, should I twist around the rules? Should I just not finish? Let's procrastinate the finish of the, of the conference. What is she going to do? Come out here with like one of those like little Bo Peep hooks and like pull me off the stage? No, it's not going to happen. All right. But you know what? I will, I will adhere to Madam President. And because I've given away so much tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one last little tip for the evening. I'm gonna try to do it in 14 seconds, which may or may not happen. What I have just accomplished is a parody, a satire, a parody of something real. Now, this has been brought to you tonight by Repossible. <laughs> oh boy, the parody of, you guys know self-help? Have you ever heard of add an H in between the S and the E? What's that? Shelf help. Shelf help. It's because there's books about self-help on the shelf that you never open. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. I'm doing an entire parody series. I have a, a series of self-help books, 14 books long, and I'm, this is the first one. We're doing a parody of each book that has a like real thing. Like this one, it's all about breaking through and getting it done. And I actually have a book about this. And now I'm starting this series, which is comedy and parody about the real thing. And here's my tip for you. Just as Max, his speech was about sort of the opposite thing of what we thought he was going to do. In a way, it can be easier. It can relieve the pressure. If you're gonna, if you have a big topic, like me, what if tonight I was gonna get up here and say, just do it, we're gonna start, you can do it. I'm way over time. I've clearly procrastinated on the ending of the evening. <laughs> but think of switching around your idea, as Max did, and, and making a joke of it. Now, I'm coming out of character here from Mr. Pro, the procrastinator. I, I, I leave you with those real tips. I truly think there are some tips to be taken home. and and elaborated on. 
But what I want to leave you with tonight is a parody. Think about switching, flipping this idea you have and giving yourself the room to laugh, to play, to joke, to make a satire of your real idea. So, back in character tonight, you have all heard it here. We've got three ways. We've got cash, we've got couch, and we've got clean. Three ways to put the pro in procrastinating. Thank you, Bradley. Oh, my goodness. We will <laughs>